first of all, Olive, let's look at all these beautiful green leaves. It is so nice to go outside and see so much color. I see some red leaves too. Olive, if you can see these beautiful pink flowers. I love all the flowers that have such beautiful bright colors that come out in the spring. These ones are a little tough to see, but there are those red um, kind of uh, pointy flowers here too. Let's see if I can get a close-up close of these pointy spindly flowers that have such a bright red pink color. There's one more tree olive with some more of those beautiful beautiful pink flowers that are all blooming. These are some um, green onions that I have planted. I put these in my self olive and it looks like they are a little bit thirsty. Um, you can see at the top, the top of the onions are drying out. In the bottom, the soil looks very dry. So I'll get them some more this water. This plant olive, if you can tell what that looks like. This plant also looks very thirsty and dried out. But these are some strawberries. This is a baby strawberry plant that is very thirsty and needs some water, but I'm hoping it will grow big and eventually have some yummy strawberries. This plant over here is also a baby, but this one is growing well. It doesn't look as thirsty. Any guesses as to what this big plant will be? It is gonna be tomatoes. All right, all of this part of my garden is my herb garden. These leaves right here, I'm gonna pick one and smell it. Mm, this is my rosemary and it smells so good. Um, and this plant seems to be green and healthy, but probably a little thirsty. Now let's look over to its neighbor. And this plant, mm, it also smells so delicious. And this is basil, which also smells so yummy. And I love to pick the basil leaves and put them in salads with tomato and mozzarella. And I don't know if you can see all of it, but this plant has some holes in the leaves. Some of these leaves, I think, are getting eaten by bugs that come and eat the leaves. So I'll have to talk to, to Nature Dave and ask him how to help my plant not get eaten by bugs. And then next to my basil, this plant got all dried and withered up. As you can see, the leaves are very brown and shriveled and dried. This is a mint plant, but my mint plant does not seem to be doing so well. It seems to be a little sick. So that might be because it didn't have enough water or it might be because it didn't get enough sunlight so I'll have to also talk to nature Dave and, and ask him if he has any ideas how to help my mint plant get get healthy again this plant here all I am most excited about this plant is um, seems to be doing well the leaves are healthy it has some beautiful purple buds um, and it is about a, a about two feet tall not quite as big as you guys um and any ideas as to what this plant could be this is going to grow up to be a tree and let's see do these leaves look familiar we have one of these trees in Tevalab. this tree is going to grow up and hopefully one day become a big strong lemon tree with lots of beautiful and tasty lemons